Welcome to Knowledge 2, Lesson 2, The Bodies Framework. Our first vocabulary word is joint. Say joint. A joint is a point where two bones meet in your body. The next one is skull. Say skull. Skull is the helmet-shaped bone that protects the brain and supports the muscles in a person's face. And the last one is support. Say support. Support is to hold up something or somebody so that it will not fall down. So remember that Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician, said that she was going to teach us all about the systems that work inside our bodies. Each system is made up of different organs or parts that do special jobs for our bodies. The systems are all tied together in a network to keep the human body alive and healthy. Today we're going to learn about the first system and that is the skeletal system. Did you think a skeleton was just a scary thing you might see in a movie or at Halloween? Well, I, Dr. Wellbody, am here to tell you that there is a lot more to a skeleton than that. We are about to explore some facts about your skeleton and mine. That's right, we all have skeletons hidden underneath our skin. A person's skeleton is made up of bones, about 206 in all. If you did not have a hard skeleton like this to support you, your body would be as soft and floppy as a rag doll's. Feel your arm. That hard thing inside is a bone. Bones give your body shape and protect the softer parts of you. If you touch the sides of your chest, you can feel the bones called ribs. They look something like bars on a cage. In fact, that part of your body is called your rib cage. It protects your heart and your lungs. Now tap lightly on your head and feel the bone called your skull. It is like a helmet made of flat bone and it protects your brain. Bones are amazing things. Did you know that one bone in your ear is as small as a grain of rice? Your bones are not very heavy because they are filled with a light, spongy material called marrow. Yet they are stronger than steel. And if you break a bone, the broken ends will heal by growing together again. Isn't that amazing? A joint is a place where two bones meet or join together. Bones cannot bend, but at a joint, the bones connect in ways that let us move and bend our bodies. Stand up and try bending your knees. Now stand up straight again. Do this a few times. Did you notice how your knees move forward and back like hinges on a door? But your knee cannot bend in the other direction. That is how your knee joint works. Your hip joint is at a place where the top of your legs meet your body. Your hip joint is like a ball on the end of one bone that fits into a socket, which is an opening in the shape of a bowl, on another. It lets you move your leg up and down and turn it so that you can kick, walk, run, and jump. Now touch your wrist. It contains lots of tiny bones and different sorts of joints. These joints let you draw, write, and throw a ball. Can you find other places in your body where there are joints? Run your hand down the middle of your back. Do you feel the line of small bones that run up and down? Those small bones are called vertebrae. Each vertebrae is a joint. Together, they let you bend and twist your body in different directions. Taken all together, the vertebrae make up your spine. Your spine covers your spinal cord, which is part of another system. We'll learn about that one later. Your amazing skeletal system is made up of bones that are linked together to support your body, give you shape, protect your organs, and help you move. Would you like to hear a rhyme about my skeleton? Here it goes. Without my hidden skeleton, I could not stand up tall. And so hooray for bones, I say, 206 in all. Let's try it together. Without my hidden skeleton, I could not stand up tall. And so hooray for bones, I say, 206 in all. That's all for now, but before I go, let me see each of you stand up and move your skeleton. Wow, tomorrow we are going to learn about another system that works with your skeletal system to help you move. See you next time.
Now you can go ahead and click on your Google form for today's listening and learning lesson and answer the questions.